Hi, I'm the Wandering Newbie, and it's time to term. It's term for murmur. It's time for more Record Keeper. Uh, today we have another Torment Dungeon. I think that's why I messed up <laughs> my intro. Uh, Dark Dweller. So this one, based around six, pits us against rival Strago Hedon and his Airbuses. Uh, Wheat the Fire, so very good for this realm, where there are a, uh, a number of fi fire boys and gals. Uh, but yeah, in general, a little rough. Uh, the biggest thing to obviously remember here is, ah, okay, they called it Grand Delta in this. Um, Grand Delta, he done will fire off if you kill the adds. Uh, so try and keep them up. No, no reason to actually take them all out. Uh, no reason to actually go for them too if you're using Taunt Retaliate, since 90% of what the adds do is single target physical. So with the Taunt Retaliator, uh, you'll just eat up all the moves and transfer it to damage against Heat On. Um. Yeah, I hate this fight. <laughs> After playing through uh, six, this fight... Oh, God, there's so many better dungeons you could have picked. But here he is, he done. So, what crew am I bringing? Well, uh, viewers of videos who have been keeping tally. Uh, Locke does have an Imperil. Terra does have an OSB. And Leon... Leon's just decent for this. Um, also, I realize I keep calling Leo Leon. My brain is... Uh, it's just the way my brain works. Um, all great for being a dancer. And the only five-star dancer in Realm. At that. And speaking of Realm, Realm is a pretty decent healer. Uh, yes, we're busting out Divine Cross because I think some of the enemies in here are immune to Earth, but nothing is immune to Holy. And as for our boosters, obviously we got Fire Boosters on our Magicite. And uh, just some Attack and Mag Boosters. Unfortunately, I desperately tried, but could not get a second mom bomb. Which just sucked, because I can't get the, the nice attack booster off of mom bomb. But, I'll take the fire boosters, and as always, leading the charge is our faithful companion, Enkidu, who I really gotta get the 99 at some point. Looking for hyper money G's all the way down. Um, alternatively, to hyper mighty, a very nice uh, Indom blade, very good here for the for the boss for Hedon, since Hedon does use bio. Um, Indom can eat up bio, also invincible. Either one. Um, Maria song, also very nice. It will. Uh, sorry, I'm having a bit of a brain fart. Uh, Maria Song gives you a fire command to use, though it will probably default to the holy command since, or the holy aspect of the damage, uh, since it enholes you. And I think the blade itself is a holy booster, so shrugging at that. Um, I might do 100 gem at the end of this. Uh, let's get our proper setup going here. And put in the proper... Oh, 06, oh, six. there we go. 
Nice. I wasn't sure if I was actually adjusting the right one. Oh, uh, one moment. I gotta take this call. Uh, I gotta go take care of something real fast. Sorry, I just got a call from someone. Uh, let me see if I still have a holder image. Go to, go to this. Turn off this. Hey, good enough. So, I'll be right back. I have to do the, uh, the dance of uh, putting down my headset and not breaking everything. So, one moment. I'll probably be about four minutes. Oh, now I get to f play the fun game of getting myself situated again. Okay, one, two, let go. Alright. Shall we?
All right, only... That was almost really bad. Only one bomb. So, uh, the biggest threat thing, like, kind of overall here, is these bombs. These bombs can cause berserk, and they can come in waves of four. Honestly, extremely threatening. Uh, you wouldn't really expect them to be the scariest thing, but, uh, here we are. actually make the speed 2. No reason to go quite that slow. On top of everything, the bombs uh, have a very nasty way of exploding if dealt physical damage. Hey, speak of the devil. Uh, Multi-hit moves don't give you more gauge. Uh, I think, like, higher ranking moves may generate more meter, but that's about it. Uh, once again, it's just one of those things I'm never really 100% on. I wish I was. Yeah, hitting weakness will always give you uh, more, more gauge though. So you can always just utilize that. We'll see how well or how poorly uh, overall this goes for us because we're getting very very close to the boss. And unlike a lot of uh, times I run torments. I haven't really built up a lot of burst. Alright, here we are. I'm going to slow this down, so I have time to think. Should have did that beforehand. Alright, so that's an unfortunate thing. You do want to try and hit the boss a little faster than, of course, I did. Uh, mainly because we put a lot of hurt on that guy. We don't really care about him. We only care about Hedon here in the middle. Very, very nice. And unfortunately, that is how these kinds of moves go down. We may, in fact, kill that guy on the bottom first.
Very unfortunate. That is a lot of wasted damage. So at this point, I'm just gonna say screw it. And let's get a little bit more of this going. Actually, let's get him weak. Let's see what kind of damage Terra can do without being in fired. Now, Mog's move is actually really nice because it's a, it's a regen and actually an attack up. It's not 50%, it's only a 30% attack up, but on this team, that actually has nothing. Oh, actually, that's a lie. Damn it. Alright, hopefully Scorching Flames will finally knock this boy down. There we go, there's the move. Yeah, okay, I think he's the lowest health now. There we go. I don't know what keeps making that noise. That, like, door-closing noise. But it's driving me crazy. Shimi before she was canonically a snake. Alright, Venom Mist here is a real, yeah, because it's a magic based move. It can actually be a little rough for your team. that noise. I've noticed that sometimes in Torments, but I honestly have no idea. Not Torments. Uh, Magicite Dungeons. And there we go. Not too much trouble. Honestly, a Taunt Retaliator is going to do a lot of work in this one. It's just you have to actually get he done the lowest immediately. Now, that was one of the simpler ones. Oh, nice. Got that daily mission, too. Now we have to move on. Well, actually, the 250 is always easier, because you can just use whoever the heck you want, right? So... As such, we're just subbing a few people out for a few others. Still a pretty much the a, a similar setup overall, but um, putting in Krill, 
gives that nice mag boost. Uh, we got Tyro for wall. We got Yuna because she's great. And Aron is going to be our taunt retaliator. Um, all in all, this should go down a pretty similar way. And the nice thing for Aron is, now I haven't used it yet, but this does exist. A spicy tornado. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And that's how you test a stream delay. <laughs> Somebody asking, do I actually have anything for on? Be right, right before. <laughs> I don't fault you. Stream delay. Stream delay exists. A necessary evil. Yeah, that's where I got it too, the last vest. Uh, again, haven't used it yet. But, uh... It looks good. It looks like it'll do work. And since he won't be getting hit by any physical attacks at defense down command 2, uh, who cares? Double piss, I have the wrong materia on Tyro. I wanted the one that makes him build gauge faster. Slightly unfortunate. Either way, we have our uh, our torment destroyer revved up down bottom. What is doing that noise? gonna keep giving me these waves of grenades and like and I'm not really complaining though a uh, part of me just wants to know what is making that like fucking slamming a door noise mystery for the ages
Oh, it's it's the game. It's not happening in real life. Oh, shit. I didn't catch that Auron died. Well, hopefully this resetting of the game fixes that... That noise issue, if it was a glitch. So I've come to the realization that um, I'm actually in a bit of a bad situation right now. Um, because I've been speeding through dungeon rooms and not building up meter on Tyro. So I think we're just going to try and stall out a little bit here, get some Tyro meter. Oh no. Oh, okay, we're good. You didn't have retaliate anymore. Which is also bad. It's like there's a sound effect that's replacing a bunch of other sound effects. But like, while some sound effects are also playing at the same time, if that makes any sense. Mm, yeah, Blue Sacks was acting screwy. But I definitely wasn't having this, that sound issue happening yesterday. Also, here's the fun question. Is this, uh, the last wave or the second to last wave? Because, uh, I can't remember. But I'm going to... Hinge my bets here and say that this is second... This is, this is, uh... Wait, not the, not the second to last. I could be horribly wrong, let's hope not. Piss. Oh, 
Well, that's actually lucky. Oh no, I have enough meter. I just don't have any of my buffs up. Yeah, there we go, that sound effect. You're like somebody is slamming a door. Forever. time. Counter does work. Who needs in fire? Fuck it. The mystery noise is killing me. What is your deal, mystery noise? Why do you exist? Why do you keep happening? Nope. Somebody's not taunting anymore. Fuck it. Maybe? Oh, wait, no. We actually want the taunt. I forgot, the taunt does other things other than just be a taunt and do extra damage. Uh, a lot of these boys actually do uh, status effects on top of everything else. Uh, so you do actually want that taunt, taunt retaliate going. You know, I have a theory about what's causing that reverb, that, that sound effect. Uh, I'm going to test it real quick. Plus, I'm not going to need Enkidu anytime soon. I don't know if it's confirmation biased or anything like that, but uh, I think it's tied to uh, Magicite. 
And the reason that I normally never hear it in my normal videos and everything is I don't use Magisite. Must be like the notification of Magisite being ready, like going off or something. There we go. Alright, just one more. One more to go. I honestly didn't expect this one to be too, too hard, except I, there is a nice little wrinkle in the 300 fight. It makes it a little bit ruder than the other ones. So, 300. You know, it's got your normal things, it's got bravery modes, hell yeah. Uh, but, so, but, 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 uh, unlike the other difficulties, this time, after a set number of turns have passed, the ear buses will self-destruct dealing damage based on their HP, so 10% of their HP. Um. <laughs> no, that's understandable. It's been out for a week. Um. Other than that, the fight is pretty similar. Uh, Grand Delta still exists. Still weak to fire. Only 20% this time, though, I think. And, uh, yeah. A pretty similar fight. Um, so... Whoop, went past it. Here it is. I had a thought. That's why like, he had just the wrong stuff on. Let's do other. It sorts faster. I really wish there was just sort by a specific school. We have too many schools of stuff now. Anywho. That's right, that's fine, that's good, that's good, and that's good. Okay, perfect. Um, so the magic attacks from the boss are still a bit of a threat and a bit of a worry. Uh, with a magic breakdown from Terra, should be taken care of.
Meanwhile, uh, Power Breakdown Dance from Tyro will deal with any physical AoEs that come our way, which are, again, one of the other concerns. a let me just nice okay uh the the nice 20 percent boost as opposed to what i originally saw gives Celis a little bit extra so that's good all right Who's first? Who's first? Who's first? Celts. That's Terra. She me up. Oh wait, well, not Lakshimi. The uh, the other thing, the boost. Oh, God damn it, she's blind. Fuck it. No magic breakdown. God, I forget about that all the goddamn time. Yes, that's Gakurion's, uh, Wrecking Materia, uh, Wrecking Materia Fire, 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 it's extremely good, and it does good work. Yeah, this is the main reason why I wanted to go with the Power Breakdown instead, because, um, unlike other times we've done this fight, I had a, uh, what's it called? What, what's the word I'm looking for here? Um, the Taunt Retaliate, so I didn't really need to concern myself with the, their power, but this time around, they are very much not Taunt Retaliate.
Good. We need to lower the Erebus's damage, but at the same time, uh, we need to keep Hedon lowest for the, uh, the counters. She got paralyzed immediately. Oh, well, this is gonna be interesting. I do just love this dynamic of cells getting a little messed up constantly. And, uh. Just making a recovery. Boy. Alright. Yeah, it was for the the magic breakdown. Um, in my head, that was a good good choice. Uh, as it turns out, it was not. That's fine. We make mistakes. That's why we can fix them. Bahamut may even do more damage than uh, her command too, so I will do that next time as well. Yes, Paralyzed Confuse Resist on cells is a very good idea. again. We have to try things out, we have to rotate stuff, otherwise we don't make mistakes, we don't learn. And it seems like the magic wasn't super bad, uh, but I don't think I'm wrong in the power down. Otherwise, Celis would definitely be dead. They can't all be one shots, right? I've had a pretty good streak the last couple of attempts at uh, torments. Had to make, had to get a, a rough patch eventually.
That's lucky. That comes right out, doesn't it? Uh, a really funny thing, and you really only get it if you're watching the VOD and you can rewind, or if you're watching on YouTube and you can rewind. Um, somebody pointed out that everybody is holding their weapon the exact same way, except for two people. The first of which is Lightning, has her weapon backwards. And, uh, the other really funny thing is Ishtola doesn't have a weapon. At all. <laughs> Which is like, you could've given her a rod, or something. Or a staff. But you just gave her, like, nothing. Uh, I mean, I do have healing BSPs, uh, just not in Realm. Remember, we're trying to go with the, uh, the three character, three synergy characters, and Krill doing DPS is probably going to help us out in the long run uh, over a second character, or a different character healing. Oh, right, I was going to try... I was going to try out uh, Bahamut instead. Let's see what Bahamut gets us. Slightly more damage. Slightly more dropped frames. Stay with me, Internet.
a little preemptive on that portrait. I was trying to time that for after the explosions. But, you know, these things happen. Super lucky, right there. Alright, let's get a train dropped on me. Good, that's like one of the perfect targets for that. Well, that sucks. for the time being my internet stabilized <laughs> well, I can get to the train I can get to the train being dropped on me everything after that kind of sucks Mainly because he doesn't have a magic break on him. Bye. 
Okay, I have a new plan. Let's see how this goes down. We're just gonna uh, blitz the boss down. I got it pretty close last time, and I think if I just kept at it, uh, we'd get there. I see how much Krill's Command 1 does. Um, hopefully, a good amount. should hopefully knock the boss not even close. I was going to say to the point where Cell starts targeting it instead, but not even close. There we go, now it should be targeted.
And that is the riskiness that we, uh, we take when... We let things like this happen. Um, what was that sentence even? Uh, what I'm trying to say is, uh, this is the risk that we get when we use, you know, a taunt that we're assuming is always going to work. I don't think we're going to hit it. We're just going to miss it again. Yeah. I guess we just bank on not getting hit by two grand tr trines, or delta, delta trine. Honestly, I'm just kind of perplexed overall. Uh, I really don't have a good way to deal with getting hit by uh, Delta Trine. Like, at all. It's going to, if I get hit by it twice, it's going to kill someone. Um, There's the obvious answer of saving a portrait for that point, um, which would work. And this this happening, I, I like. Oh, I really need her not hitting the ads, but now I need to lower the health of the ads. Quandary. Damn it. Alright, that's fine. I'm getting a little off kilter because somebody is also lighting me up on my phone and like, no, sorry, I can't pay attention to that right now. Alright. Get my head in the game. Let's do this.
trying to think if I could maybe sub Krill out for somebody else. If I went for in realm, it would be. Lock. It's just more AoE. It doesn't really fix too much. And we've already proven that I can't burst the boss down fast enough. I just don't have enough damage overall. I'll take any thoughts from the chat. You know what I think? Might be doing me in to an extent. Hmm. The taunt is good, the counter is an alright way to keep that going, but is Cell is really the right option? What if it was, uh, locked? Mach would hit a little higher numbers. That's for sure.
Oh my god. That's pretty much the unluckiest thing that's ever happened. I can't survive Grand Delta. Uh, that's just the gist of it. The second I get hit by Grand Delta, I'm dead. So once again, we are going to attempt to beat the clock. By the way, I'm just going to throw this one out there. Uh, at this point, you may want to start and stop the stream. Uh, because I've dropped so many frames at this point that you are probably way, way in the past. That's what he's getting from that. Back row though, and boost the defenses.
A Terra USB. Maybe. Crow would be doing way less damage, but... In fired casting chain fire aga. I would need a protect ga. Do I say damn damn the shoga? cast on Krill as well, you're right. Yep, I'm going to try it. Wait a minute, hold up. Uh, nonetheless, I think we're going to try them with the gauntlets first. Not great. <laughs> Things are not going great. We say damn to magic attacks. We are trying to beat the spread. Magic attacks will end us. What if instead... Tyro gave us... Shelga. We we're, were trying to beat it anyway, so we're not going to need a second cast of wall. It's not bad. Okay. We just need that Protectica turn one to protect us from, well, the boys. Um, but yeah, Terra USB. Oops, that's not right. Also, thank... I'm not, I'm not gonna say anything about my connection. Stability, so on and so forth. Local recording is always fine anyway. But yes, again, uh, at my recommendation, do a quick stop, hit, hit pause, hit play on your stream as you are well into the past. By, let's see, uh, let's take this number. Let's see. I'm streaming at 30 frames per second, so divide that by 30. And then divide that by 60. Yes, y'all are about two minutes in the past. Yeah, the extra... That extra bunch of damage from the OSB is just going to be good, period. But anyway. 
and then the quick casting and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, sh that, that, that actually will probably do it. Uh, lock, we'll see how lock fares, but lock also imperiling will help. I don't know with what, because everybody was already hitting max damage, but either way. Look, I, I I talked about it last time, Cloud USB 1 is extremely strong and real and my friend. Alright. Uh, Tyro's gonna be casting Shelga. Tyro's gonna do, like, three breaks in a row because, um, if we are trying to beat the timer, then we don't need Tyro to do much of anything.
All right. <laughs> it continues. Having brain farts now, which is really not what I need to happen. So far, so good. I'm liking how this is turning out. And again, if she's not doing anything, we should just use that second cast. It's gonna do more damage, especially with two imperils up. probably not be used. We might actually kill... Yes, we would kill the, uh, the Erebuses. We'll just let our gals go to town and finish this fight off. make this. This is going to be really tight. That's gonna get the kill. Oh boy. Okay. Slightly bad. A little bad. But as long as we don't lose anybody. There it is. Just barely. As it turns out, going all in worked in both scenarios. Thank you to uh, Sorik. Was that Sorik? Yeah, Sorik in the chat for suggesting the USB. Great, great suggestion. Christ almighty. Uh, ow, my knees. Holy crap. Uh. 
Oh. Give me, give me, give me, give me. Give me all those moats. I am curious. Yep, I was right. I was so right. It's only back to events that have ultimates. And you know how I know? Successor of the Dawn was the first event to have an ultimate. That's not right. Let's try that one again. That was extremely wrong. Oh my god. The void. And the emu emulators have problems. They can't all be perfect. Cave. Yeah, that's that's a real shame though. I really hope this doesn't like the signs that the emulator is dying. Like I fucking dropped my I dropped my emulator. Oops, I dropped my emulator and it's it's having problems now. Uh oh. Um, yeah, I hope this isn't the science that the emulators finally die. And I actually have to upgrade to something else instead of blue stacks. I'm just gonna enjoy myself for a second here. Come on, big money. Big money. Yeah, the, the whole thing is I don't want to move to a different emulator because this, this one works for the most part. But either way. So, that was the... Hold up, let me, let me try it again. So, that was the FF6 Torment. Um, we have four more to do. There's nine, thirteen... 14 and 1. 1 I'm pretty set for. 14 shouldn't be too bad. 13 is going to be iffy. 9 looks scary to me. Uh, but we're almost done with Torments. Uh, I don't know what the next one is going to be because they just re-released 2. So either way, I'll see you next time.